Hey guys, how's it going? Um, shop update. You saw my builds going on, and uh, I moved shop. I'm no longer in the living room. And I actually cleared out my extra room and turned that into the shop. So you saw I got some new toys, some much needed stuff. So let's go check out what we're doing. So that's where business used to happen. Right there, living room. TV, couch, right there. And now I'm over here. So we'll start over here. Built a couple belt racks. Still waiting for the belts to get in. These are my leftovers. Uh, I got a couple 272s. The majority of them are 2x60s because they were cheap at the time, but I ordered a whole set, a whole slew of 2x72s. So that rack will be full from 24 grit through 2500. I've got some Zerk belts in there, a bunch of ceramics, all kinds of good stuff coming in. That right there was my old mill press. Focus. There we go. That was the old mill press. You can see the old XY vice on there. Come on. Old XY. So now I've stepped up to this 12 speed. There we go. Right there. And the new XY vice. And the rotary table. Those are pretty cool. Still learning how to do that. I got a blast cabinet. You guys saw a little post on that, but get my hand in there. Eh? So, gun there. Got 80 grit silicone media in there. And over in the corner over here, I've got a 21 gallon. 2.5 horsepower compressor. A little makeshift shelf for my goodies. Miscellaneous stuff in there, rags, good stuff. And then a little tools, my porta band. And then I still got some sorting out to do. There's the beast all finished. Franken grinder version 2.0 motor's great it's a 1.5 horsepower 3600 rpm motor uh, that's that variac that I was telling you about so you turn it on here it's already wired direct to the motor spin your voltage up And everywhere in between, I'm going to turn it down here, I can turn it down to like 25 volts, do some slow little polishing and stuff like that, Let me turn it back up, so that's that, uh, the two wooden benches, I got two new wooden benches, so there we go matching biggest part of that was the small bench I was working on was actually on that little thing there it was a makeshift but being that I'm getting bigger I need bigger stuff so added an extra about seven inches of height on there so it helps a lot better um, as far as assortment like I said I'm still working on that stuff but there's the minis I got to get back on and then I've got my map gas, some fittings and uh, clamps. And over in this one, I've got my small wheel kit. Move this here. Uh, down in this one, I've got uh, files, more hardware, bit drivers. And then I've got my respirator mask over there, my table or tool rest. 
and then my 8 inch contouring wheel and then over here like you said you've got the porta band little polishing wheel there tools miscellaneous stuff drawings and then inside I've got drill bits this is all milling stuff so got all my end mills and all that good stuff down there unibits there's that centering bit like I said that snapped the other day I figured, I thought it was magnetic but it's actually spring loaded so I had to rebuild that down here that's all the G10 carbon fiber titanium AEBL I got some O1 in there uh, all different sizes shapes F50, F10, carbon fiber, um, I've got uh, all kinds of stuff, this was from Beyond Wood Products, these here, and liners, all that good stuff, and over here, it's kind of like a catch-all at the moment, still working on cleaning up, this stuff right here is awesome, Copper444 sent this to me, this is the superconductor. Sent me four pieces of that, so I can't wait you to use that. Down here, uh, miscellaneous stuff, all the manuals for all the tools I just picked up, um, and air fittings, leftover hardware, so I gotta make a junk drawer. These are the other Orfist tips for the sandblaster. And, okay, we'll go through here. So, like I said, I'm sorting everything out. So, uh, I've got my KS stickers that I used to put on my blades. Um, that's my, the KS initials that I started with. I'm going to be changing that up. Uh, miscellaneous bag supplies, some Dremel bits, uh, scuffing pads, scouring pads, uh, mother's mag polish in there with a rag, fine polishing blades. <clears throat> oh, gotta keep that open. Nine millimeter shells. I was using those for lanyards. Um, putting that on with some paracord ends up really cool. Tie a single single knot. Slide the shell back over it, and it's tight. Slide the knot out of the shell, untie it, and unravel your uh, your paracord, and use it for what you need. Um, picked up some of these here. These are 9mm Luger dry fire practice rounds. So I, I'm going to do something with those. They're anodized red. Put those on something. Uh, miscellaneous 9 volt batteries. Hardware, pencil sharpener, rags, microfibers, tape, projects, different projects. So I've got a few knives that are in the middle of build, and hopefully I'll get to those soon right after the minis and receipts. Uh, these are my Detent balls, my pivots, bearings, all that good stuff. Uh, buffing compounds, a couple different grits of scouring pads, and paracord. And then a file drawer, map gas head, Dremel, coilers bit, drill, and there we go. So that is about it. But at this shop, Here's the old 4x36. That's what I started with right there just about a year ago. Uh, shop's kicking off. So with all these upgrades, I can't wait to get on them. It's going to make life so much easier and so much quicker. What used to take me four and a half hours to cut on this one, with the drill press head on this one, cut it down to about 45 minutes. And hopefully with the ass that this thing has it will take me uh, a lot less 
Um, the drill press head was great. It worked wonderful. Uh, it just didn't have a lot of torque. I could stop the belts. So this one, I, uh, I chunked it and spun it up. Could not stop the belts. So here we'll put a piece of carbon stock on there. Get this thing going. So it does a lot of damage real quick. And I added everything up and including the grinder where I originally did the build, I dropped the drill press off of it and I'm still at about 500 bucks. A little over 500 bucks for, for that right there. All right guys. So that's a shop update. Um, oh, another thing is the uh, computer etching. Um, I like the finish on it. I got the PCB etchant from uh, Fry's Electronics because all of the radio shacks out here closed already. And so there's none around me. Fry's was the next best thing. Works good. Um, I like how, it, how the finish is. Uh, even with it at room temperature, when you heat it up, it ends up taking layers off of it. So I started with 330 seconds stock on... No, uh, sorry, no, uh, 0 0.118 or 138 stock, and I heated it up to just before a boil, put it in there for about 15 minutes, pulled it out, and it took half the thickness of the blade on it, so be careful on that, uh, either that or part it down, but I'm using it full strength. Um, but for the most part, I'm just going to be using it to etch Damascus so I can get the, uh, the, the different materials to pop. Um, everything else will be in the blast cabinet and there we go so I hope my face is on camera here because my camera will not flip around so I can't see if I'm on it or not um, I'll talk to you later guys and we'll do some build videos take it easy